Egyptian Citrus Industry Opportunities for India by Mr. Mohammad Wafai, the Deputy Chairman and Managing Director, Capital Agro Egypt. Could you please welcome him to the podium? Good afternoon, uh, everybody, and thank you for our participating in India. It's my first time to visit India, and we have honored for our an Egyptian company, Capital Agro, for participating in this uh, great event. Firstly, thank you for all organizers, and it's uh, a great and a smart idea for uh, making this event between all farmers because uh, we are inside what are talking about it. We are already between all farmers and uh, all practices of farmers and so on. Firstly, I will uh, talking uh, for this topic. She's uh, mentioned about it, about uh, the citrus industry in Egypt. Especially, I will making a uh, customize for uh, exporting to India market. Uh, this industry in Egypt is divided by three parts. Firstly, we will start with the farmers and all practices inside farmers. Uh, what's the practices to cut the fruits and what's the practices to making a package for this and what's the practices for labor to be, have a knowledge how to handling the fruits, how to handling the, the quality, how to, how to handling uh, any fruits can be defected by uh, pre-harvest or during harvest that uh, our great doctor mentioned about it. So we take all tactics to avoid any defects on the fruit during this uh, packaging uh, from the farmers. Second uh, stage in back houses, how to avoid any defects in back houses and the treatment uh, by waxing and the treatment chemicals and so on. Then we making a package in carton and the intermediate materials uh, like cartons we take or corrective action towards these cartons to avoid any defects in cold stores or any defects uh, during the logistics and the transportation uh, for a transit time. For example, then after the red zone, uh, red uh, sea uh, issue, we exceed 30 to 40 days to Chennai or Kolkata or Nihava Shifa port. So we can take all tactics and the all practice, best practice to avoid any uh, defects on uh, temperature, for example, or uh, for quality, to deliver high-valued uh, quality. Uh, in citrus, especially, like here uh, in uh, growers, we start the business model uh, by change the uh, grower behavior towards how to service the farms, how to using fertilizers or irrigation programs in, uh, li li like or uh, committed with global gap or cement acidics or grassip and all quality certificate, certificates already uh, in this field. We started this change of customer behavior towards this. Then we started to change the behavior of labors inside the back houses because in back houses, can destroy anything we doing by growing and to all concern or helping for growers. Back houses is the second stage. If we destroy any uh, phase in, during the back house or using uh, not enough high skilled labor by using uh, some cross contamination without gloves during the package and so on, it will destroy. The cold stores is the main, main, main focus uh, because cold treatment like India because it exceeds a long time uh, trans time uh, during the loading. It can be have a protocol of washing and the treatment, the, the cold stores before any storing or warehousing to avoid any cross contamination, to avoid uh, microbiology generating with the products. So we take all of this inside the back houses to make sure we already deliver high valued uh, uh, fruits. So finally, we exported to like India, to China, to Brazilian. We exceed the trans time and we extend the shelf life for 30% by taking all tactics inside in our capital agro uh, business model. So we already uh, looking forward a lot and successful uh, relationship with Indian uh, final consumer of this and we have a great opportunities for exceeding this number already achieved by importing this uh, citrus. I know this uh, citrus especially in specific sizes 
for uh, for Valencia orange, especially, it's uh, more delicious and it's uh, have acceptable behavior consumption. Likely recently, uh, especially in uh, four or five years ago. So we are concerned from photosanitary authority in Egypt and in own uh, capital agro business model to focus about this to make more, more, and more extending uh, about this. So uh, we can summarize all of citrus between Egypt and India, how to handling the fruits from farm to fork, how to handling and avoid any defects can be occurred on the product, uh, and how to extend shelf life, start from growing and the uh, back house, and how to handling this in along the transit time and the shortage in uh, empty uh, containers, uh, because uh, the problem we already faced in uh, Red Sea and uh, to uh, moving a cab road so we take all uh, preventive actions of this and the main 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 uh, focus parallel with this how the intermediate materials using in this like package uh, we see in uh, own business model the carton for example we have a 3p for carton it's a packaging uh, 15 kg of citrus like and it's already uh, protection the fruits, so we can using this carton with a craft food grade, and uh, it's loading by one ton pressure to uh, be load for uh, a long time in cold stores, and to promote under uh, commercial name and uh, marketing. Yeah. So we can uh, see uh, what already uh, this business model can using, and they take a feedback. Currently, we're already exporting to Indian uh, market, and we take a, a lot of feedback. After the, the all containers delayed for 15 and 20 uh, days, uh, extra for uh, TT or uh, the time of uh, deliver expected, and already we take a feedback. This all of tactics have a uh, great feedback. Thank you for these participants, and thank you for all organizers, and thank you very much. To Mr. Mohammed Mafai. Could we have a louder applause, please? It's, it's not every day that you find such enemies on the stage.